so so be welcome on a saturday evening uh, you've sacrificed your nap and it's pretty early i know thank you so much for uh, dialing in and thank you so much for dialing in so Pr- prem uh, welcome i will start with a small introduction about prem uh, i mean prem is one, one of our proud alumni who passed out in the year of 2000 he comes with 20 years of uh, rich experience across industries he has served the automobile industry uh, being a mechanical engineer <laughs> by profession and then he has served the food industry the it industry the it es and today he is a management consultant okay he he is a, he he manages his firm he is a managing director at jwin okay the the word i mean the term jwin prem itself is very positive Well, credits to you. And uh, okay, with this, I hand it over to Prem. Prem, you can start with an introduction and then go ahead with your session. Sure, sure. And thank you, Minakshi. Uh, very good evening to all. And uh, thanks for your wonderful timing on this Saturday evening. Um, it's a pleasure to have uh, this kind of meeting with our uh, BIT co-alumni. Uh, I am passed out in the year two thousand. Uh, uh, <clears throat> on the time it was bellur engineering college uh, a mechanical engineer uh, on the time yeah mechanical engineering has its own place still we are maintaining that grace in uh, mechanical engineering department yeah let us go with this topic uh, effective business management system through iso standards actually uh, i chosen this topic uh, by considering all level of people initially i thought to deliver some other topics uh, which is uh, i relevant to some of the managerial people but uh, when i discuss with krishna kumar we may get the whole kind of participants uh, uh, even sometimes we may get student level also so that's the reason we made this topic effective business management system through ids post standards and um, so end of the session i make you to ensure uh, basic concept of this iso standard and business management system that is the ultimate objective i am uh, having in my mind uh, i am working on my audience uh, i understand my audience are working people students faculties uh, uh, some of the people jamming for more uh, um, business forecast as well as uh, career oriented people so this topic can definitely help them to understand the fundamental need of business or the person is working on uh, management professions fine uh, something uh, want to make into this about myself uh, let me talk about my organization first uh, my jv is my passion uh, yes uh, i am running this organization for last 17 years um, as an iso consultant people used to say ISO consultant, rather than telling management system consultant, it's a commercial brand name ISO consultant. Um, initially, I worked with all kind of automotive industries, automotive and engineering industries up to year 2011. Uh, after that, uh, one recession period, we are focused or more diversified into food industries. Uh, I'm one among the um, uh, famous consultant in south india for food industries specifically for the certification in brc gs packaging brc food ifs spf prem uh, sorry to interrupt okay can you just be a little more louder so some participants sure. uh, yeah yeah is it okay now audible yeah uh, better uh, thank you yeah, thank you so uh, as a jimin uh, we are focusing more on food industries now food industries need uh, real management system uh, implementation as well as long term business uh, strategical implementation and uh, reengineering based improvement is uh, requiring on the food industries so we are focusing more on food industries now but still we have uh, good focusing on automotive and aerospace industries and coming to my uh, prof- profession and my qualification i as i told be mechanical engineer diploma in management and doctor i'm doing i'm trying to do my uh, uh, some of my phd program on uh, six sigma excellence or process excellence activities it is going in different manner uh, i'm the qualified lead auditor in bos gs packaging bos gs food safety iso 9000 iso 45000 
एफ एस इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड आई एस ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड वन आई एस फोर्टीन थाउजेंड वन आई एम द क्वालिफाइड लीड ऑडिटर सो फॉर वी सक्सेसफुली कंप्लीटेड थ्री हंड्रेड कंपनीज ऑन द सर्टिफिकेशन प्रोसेस ऑल अवर क्लाइंट्स आर लोकेटेड इन इंडिया वुमेन लिटिल बिट ऑन दुबई वी आर फोकसिंग मोर ऑन सिंगापुर नाउ प्रेस कोविड स्टिल वी आर एक्सेट इन सम अदर कंट्रीज दिस इज ब्रीफ अबाउट माई सेल्फ Uh, let us go for this uh, topic uh, sorry one more this are my client uh, we are i'm the uh, spare india consultant for boeing termax twa amcor cat software revs and oil polish bin sns power switching your coming to food industry vvd coconut oil apex coconuts asha sweet fish potas coffee c pride anjali nalanne doxy chu all these are my clients we are crossed uh, as a um, partial client base Um, we have three hundred client, three hundred plus client for uh, certification uh, and business uh, development consultancy activities. Yes. Uh, let us talk about on the business. Okay. Uh, whenever we are telling the language business, uh, people may feel that the uh, business is place for earning the money. Business, it is uh, movement of uh, one person's uh, passion. the people who feel that the person is having money they can start the some uh, business and they try to earn the money um in that i have a uh, lot of uh, value addition that particular concept uh, let us talk about the language business is place for earning money yes uh, you can talk with any of the business entrepreneur or um, traditional or family business people the business is for earning money You can talk any of the language. I guess one nine thousand six six more process capability. You can talk anything, sir. Until it is not giving money to my packet, I cannot consider that as a business. It is a language of some of the traditional peoples. Okay, even if you are talking uh, other mature business people, money is the outcome of my statistical improvement as well as uh, team work of our uh, HR team, HR resources. Okay. People, each, each and every people having their own synonyms or definition for the concept business. But one thing we need to understand: as we are the profession, we are the engineering profession. Business is not the only part of handling or making the money. Precisely, I can say, as a present trend, I recommend you to learn this uh, language for business. it's a creating new market with innovative thoughts in day to day growing needs of society with our own business and social strategy um, presently uh, i can give an example spiggy yeah. uh, spiggy is entered in the market the grown in different manner or i can say like the companies um, swiggy zomato you can uber whatever can make it all they are the person created a new market concept in south india okay now they grown uh, along with spiggy and zomato zomato they are developing lot of small scale hotels cafeterias i know one person working from home with fssa license he is uh, earning a good amount of money through spiggy so his business concept is helping for the social strategy he is making a new concept in the market he understand the day to day day to day needs of the people Uh, people uh, want to get the biryani from hotel ice cream from hotel so it's possible nowadays okay so that's the way business strategy is coming up now more than money now strategy is most important strategy will get work out only in the concept of business management system you can see uh, i can say ratan tata henry ford accumulator bill gates All of the people, giants in the business, they earning n number of uh, business, huge amount of money in the business. Everything is possible, not because of their uh, investing. Everything is because of their business strategy. The way they are leading the team, way they are approaching the team for successful business. You can take retail chain of hotels. You can name it any hotel. their money their infrastructure is second but the first success criteria for the business is management system they are having you can take any traditional water in chain of uh, 
in train of bottle uh, industries the system is makes a good big play in that big play after the only money is at play okay you can take spiggy ola amazon apple system you can take everything successful business strategy makes high level of business turnover business strategy is in, is possible by the way of business management system let us believe the management system in our personal life first let us start our system from our life first obviously it can be get implemented in your uh, organization into a profile also one thing i want to highlight uh, on here person who is working the organization consider sir i am not the entrepreneur i am not the businessman uh, in my personal view i can highlight the point each and every employee is a businessman because they are selling the skills and their life time to one organization for cost when they are selling skills and ability and time to the company they are having the own improvement activities they are having own business management system activities they can develop themselves with more skills they can demand more amount of money for the developed skills partially can take it or fully can take it as business activities every employee also a business person in the in this present scenario of business strategy that is it is a person who has learned civil engineer can work in it industries person who learned or who, who become electronic engineer is working in food industry chemical industries everything is possible because they know the level of uh, improving the skill they know the level of uh, <clears throat> understand the business nature and able to perform in the right directions is everything is all this possible only because of the business management system available in particular organizations right let us um, make some concept in business strategy in business organization always we have to expect the unexpected we have to expect the unexpected unexpected may be positive unexpected may be the negative suddenly got a huge orders from customers in this is a lockdown period all the small uh, um, provision store got a huge order huge business from local people because of the bigger department store is because department store got closed all these uh, provisions were got huge amount of business they they are literally struggled to manage their business because all these people got trained for uh, or practiced for uh, working with limited amount of people when they are getting huge quantity of people for the business literally they struggled okay one way uh, it's a positive uh, unexpected but how the situation got handled is a big matter now let us say another thing is process improvement suddenly i got some process improvement in my manufacturing setup or service setup but i'm not able to implement because of the constraint in the manpower people are not understanding process improvement the activities so i'm struggling though it is a positive turn but i'm not able to implement because of the lacking of my management systems my people training my people is very difficult in this kind of uh, new process improvements I, we are struggling this is unexpected another thing is acceptance of new product in the market then efficient workforce i got efficient workforce uh, nowadays it's a big challenge in uh, industries um, we are uh, depending on migrant workforce in our manufacturing sector suddenly we are getting the good amount of uh, workforce but we are not able to give the good good value of order or good value of production material for them to utilize it all we may feel that unutilized resources you are not able to use them, use them for uh, efficient manner because of the system lagging my management or marketing team is not able to give good order for these people so we are using them for uh, uh, under uh, under skill job for these uh, efficient people unexpected uh, another thing is new investors i got very big investor they invested uh, they rent too much money on my system but when they realizing the management system of um, system of my organization we are bothering to invest they are making the different strategy of uh, slow improvement or uh, continuing <coughs> step by step improvement for uh, investing with, with the investing it is everything is happening because of the lacking of the system in the organization i i have seen a n number of organization having good amount of resources good amount of investment good amount of order in the market but they are not able to execute properly because of the lacking in management system in their uh, day to day operation process that is a big inefficient in our indian industry i can say 
uh, whenever they are comparing our Indian industries with some other industries, uh, let us say Korean or Japanese industries, we may feel that we are little inferior. Sometimes we may feel inferior. It is not because of not because that we are not having resources, skill, or anything. One the thing is we are highly lacking in the system to develop or demonstrate ourselves to this board. That is a big thing. Let us take variation metal price. Suddenly our raw metal price is getting reduced, but I'm not having system. I'm not having uh, money capacity to um, <clears throat> procure the material in big manner and serving my cl client in uh, um, futuristic uh, lesser price and we have a huge amount of order. Sometimes we may get uh, struggle because of the lacking of systems in material, material department. I'm getting government schemes, but I'm not able to um, utilize it properly because of the if it inefficiency in the administration department. My administration people are not having any system to monitor the government schemes and the implementations. We are missing it off. I can see another negative uh, unexpected sudden breakdown of missions, more absenteeism of my workers, lockdown period, one and a half month, two months of lockdown period. It is drastically affected my business. Now the question here is, after this lockdown period, how this industry is going to re revamp their uh, business structure is a big question mark. I'm telling you the person who is having the good system in their business, definitely they can come up with easily. Definitely they came up in easily in shorter period. I can't say that they will not struggle. They can also struggle, but the way they are struggling, the way coming up will be very easy for them. I can give a number of uh, examples for this, um, but it is very easy. For the person who is having good management system in the industries, for them it's very easy to come up. Another thing is human errors. Uh, recently I faced a situation in my client side. Um, they are exporting one uh, electrical item to uh, Africa. Okay, all the arrangements were made. Uh, container scheme, vehicle scheme, including uh, document, export documents is completed. In the time of packing the material in the conveyor, in the pallet, they found bed sizes uh, wrong, uh, wrongly projected and wrongly manufactured. It is not possible to dispatch off. Company is in loss of more than 1.5 crores only because of the order. Client also totally unhappy with that. Order is cancelled. Only one because of uh, marketing people's uh, mistake. Whole order is got cancelled and they are struggling in this kind of uh, COVID-19 issues. Human errors. Human errors is a big um, issue in now nowadays in industry. Uh, that also um, cannot be get avoided, but as with our management system, we can uh, reduce it drastically. Fine. So all these kind of unexpected issues can be get resolved or controlled with my business management system. That is the reason uh, all your customers, all your uh, business people making you to go for ISO 9000 certification as a fundamental. It's a fundamental requirement for releasing the purchase order for them. Okay, just you can think about that. Uh, let us take the automotive industries. Let us uh, assume that one of the injection molding company want to become a supplier to Hyundai. Okay, Hyundai will never give any kind of purchase order to the person who is not having ISO 9000 certification process. Fine. Why this ISO 9000 certification is playing a big role between these industries? Automotive industries, manufacturing sector is having idea. Volatile and they are having a lot of unexpected issues. So they want the supplier with some sort of management system to handle all kind of unexpected issues. So they want the supplier to well equipped on systematic manner. They want to go with the management system efficient people. The thing is, they themselves know that they are having one plus and the minus of their business. So based on that supply revision, they are also going to perform in the market. Quality of the uh, quality of the car also going to get uh, affected. In that situation, they want to go with the efficient supplier. Supplier with proper business management system. That is the way this business management system concept is most important for each and every one of business. Okay. Another thing is, business management system is only for big companies like uh, 
Nokia, Hyundai, Microsoft, Loop, each and every industry, even two people, two people, uh, two employees organization need this kind of business management system. Let's, let us talk on uh, small uh, tea shop. Okay, you can see the business management system. When you're entering the tea shop, one person is giving the token or uh, giving the system for collecting the money. One person is serving the tea, one person collecting the glass or uh, waste materials. Okay, end of the day, that tea owner is making the calculation how much of milk I bought, how much of sugar I bought, how much of uh, tea powder I bought, what is the uh, today's plus and minus of my business. End of the month, he is accumulating all 30 days business. He is trying to find out the plus and minus, what is the learning in my uh, business for last 30 days, how I am going to correct it next month. That is why he is also improving the business. For his level, business management system is very simple. For him, it is quite sufficient also. But he is not able to run the business without system. It's important for everybody. Fine. What is business management system? It's the most important thing we need to get, uh, uh, we need to spend time. It's invariably for all kind of industries. Uh, I'm mechanical engineer. Business management system need because automotive industries. I'm IT industries. Oh no, it is not required. We can't say it all. Business management system is common and need for all kind of industries. Let us go for this definition. Yeah, business management system is set of tools for set of tools for planning and implementing policies, planning and implementing policies, practices, guidelines, processes and procedures that are used in the development, deployment, execution of business plans and strategies and all associated management activities. Okay, uh, actually the point I'm trying, trying to highlight here is, uh, I want to give very good example of uh, Tata Ginger chain of hotels. Uh, this, uh, when, when they are starting this hotel, chain of hotel, they spent more than one and a half years, 18 months of time only for making their business management system process. How to maintain the cleaning and hygienic practices, how to receive, receive the customer or um, guest to the hotels, how to take care of their hospitality, how to make the building mechanism, how to make the hotel infrastructure activities, how to maintain the uh, <coughs> restaurant activities, how to maintain the kitchen. Everything is they have analyzed with strategical way. Each and every process they are having policy. If you, are, uh, if, you, if you are able to visit Tata Junior Hotels, you can see the policy for visitors, policy for restaurant, policy for kitchen, policy for workers, policy for uh, allergens, policy for social complaints, everything they are having policy and strategy. That is the reason the level of serving requirements in a consistent manner and still they are existing in the market with minimum level of business but more efficiency. It's a kind of uh, tool for developing and sustaining our business in a long term basis. That is the beauty of this business management system. You can take any of the mature companies, instead of investing money, they will analyze the business on market as well as systematic manner. It's a fundamental, it's a fundamental to learn. Fine. What are the benefits of this effective business management system? Improved risk management. Product consistently in deliver what it promised, increased customer satisfaction as services, more efficient use of resources. Fine. So, when the person is able to understand the business management system, even in the time of work environment, he can be able to perform in good manner. Let us talk about HR department. It is very easy for us to understand because uh, uh, all companies, all organizations have uh, own HR. HR is having three, four functions. One is recruitment, training program, performance evaluation, and payroll processing. Four kind of uh, function they are having. Okay, each and every function they are having some sort of process, procedure, guidelines, practices, everything getting amended. Based on that, they are serving to the employees. But though it is common process for entire companies, Metro method of working, metro of execution is differs place to place, organization to organization, within the organization also, because the way the management system design is different. 
depends upon the situation depends upon the top management policy depends upon the workers requirement depends upon the communication media available totally it differs fine that's what this whole business management system talks about methodology for making the process in proper manner in the right direction fine corner source of organization uh, it's the most important nowadays uh, business concept earlier days the way we are analyzing the business is different now everything is going with the concept of stakeholder or interested parties fine now all our suppliers vendors part of our business win win situation nowadays it is inevitable our products and services our customers consumers customer and consumer is having a wide difference but whenever telling the language customer it is inclusive of consumers another thing is resources for you man material mission and method all these four corners of the organization need to be get addressed and worked and <clears throat> utilized based on your business management systems that's what you need some sort of systems i can give you some traditional business people uh, a portion okay um you can take any of the big people they never get involved in the day to day business process how the business sales is happening how the material stock stock handling is happening what kind of customer they are getting their involvement will be not even to do with that percentage but they are more focusing on market analysis uh, let us talk about this uh, mobile industries okay let us assume that one person is handling mobile industries successful business person successful mobile person spending more than 60% of his time for analyzing the trend of models available in the market where he can get that uh, mobile in a cheaper cost where he can get the bulk quantity where he can store it and supply to the his <coughs> um, outlets something he can spend more amount of time he will spend only 20 to 30% of time for his uh, day to day business practice it's happening because of his business management system is strongly in all these four corners that is the reason he is spending less amount of urgent activities and be able to spend more amount of active more more amount of time in important activities that is most important business owners staffs all the people are able to spend more amount of time in important activities only in the time of effective business management system in the urgent activities this is a fundamental for going this business management systems you can take any of the, any of the organization you can find crisis management ad hoc management when our director in the place they will take uh, they spend more time on that particular day problem few companies only working for next day problem and uh, they are solving or they spending more time on today's time so this kind of thing will happen only in effective business management system that's what this corner source of organization is well set well setted and it is uh, moved in different uh, direction as per standards fine sir let's talk about this business management cycle uh, whenever the organization having mission and objectives they need some sort of management system to implement or make it as a required results that is a challenge in or any kind of organizations fine so once it is getting reviewed and continuously improving the own mission objectives of the organization it will become the continual improvement or continuous improvement fine for making this for be making this management system we are using iso standard as a guidelines tool it's a way adding value to your business by giving good and effective management system that's what iso is playing the role that's what this entire world is talking about iso as a fundamental tool still i can say iso like your iso certification is like your mobile phone if you are not having the mobile phone in your hand it's a matter now man still you not having the mobile phone in your hand because mobile phone is a very common thing all the people getting used it is a basic uh, uh, <coughs> aid in our day to day life like this for any kind of business iso certification is a fundamental now because 
running the industry without management system is a very very difficult from for this present volatile market fine so iso is a tool making you to give or make effective management system yeah fine let us talk about uh, iso let us make some awareness about this board iso iso is the word came from iso you might have across iso isotopes uh, all things okay it's a latin word from that we take this word iso when we are giving the abbreviation it is ios international organization for standardization fine it is a independent international standard uh, it's a uh, organization like ngo uh, it gives standard for manufacturing management system certifications research and development activities futuristic product uh, then the industrial cultures the, even they are giving um, standard for um, bright management system all kind of things uh, they are giving the standard iso job is not giving the certification iso job is only giving the standard to this board based on the trend <coughs> trend or based on this system followed in the entire world they are giving the standards so far they have released 23192 standards they have released 23192 standards they got released for various purposes in this 164 countries representative is uh, um, working for delivering the standard it means all this 23192 standard got accepted by this 164 companies this 164 nothing the country representative fine then there are 785 technical committees and sub committees also available for the products fine so this is the way iso is working for making the standard some of the known iso standards whenever i am telling the language iso suddenly people thinking that iso 9001 iso 9001 alone is not the iso standards iso 9000 is a drop of this iso 9000 version it has various standard for manufacturing management system certifications guidelines vocabularies each and every industry is as its own standard from iso some of the known standards i am displaying now 9001 14001 45001 occupational health and safety 22000 for food safety management system 27001 for information security management system 26000 for social responsibility 50000 for energy management 31000 for risk management 37000 for anti bribery management system like this way they have published n number of standards for all kind of industries fine mr arunmuri one more ask also asking the question i will answer in the ending of the session fine one more thing is integrated management system okay it is not mandated that one organization should go for one certificate it is not required organization go with n number of certification as integrated management systems let us take automotive industries for them core standard core certification is iatf 16949 for food industries iso 22000 is a core standard for it industries 27000 is the core standard international security management system for any kind of industries basic organization 9000 is the core standard along with that they can go for the certification 14001 environment management system 45001 occupation health and safety 50001 energy management system so they can incorporate all kind of certification in single organization in the name of integrated management system let us give one example of five star hotel okay on five star hotel want to go for uh, iso certificate they want to comply ante requirements of social needs and the statutory and regulatory requirement of this country so fundamentally is fssc requirement okay for that they can go for the 20000 okay same way they want to comply the requirement of environmental health and safety of their employees guests everything then their energy efficiency then organization the particular five star hotel can go for all the certifications 20000 14000 145000 and 50000 so they can go as a integrated management system it's also possible it's a recommendation fine 
this ISO standard fundamental PDCS I can plan do check act it's a fundamental okay it is not the robust approach or uh, it is not a single day job for implementing this entire certification standard in organization um, on fast track manner it is not like that it is a step by step methodology you need to go with plan do check act methodology another thing is it is typical process approach when whenever telling the language uh, process approach you need to think about input process output people may say this is a universal dabba your process approach is called universal dabba in a uh, colloquial manner fine so input this process establish system implement monitor and improve improve the system this way entire process have to be get improve then they getting the output output getting reviewed and again all the review will be the in, all, the, all all the review and learnings will be the input for next cycle of operations that is why input or improvement is happening that is why it is called process improvement cycle approach pdca cycle approach so one cycle is completed with some learning all the learning have to be get implemented next cycle of operations that is why improvement is getting happen let us give one small example i'm trying to travel from uh, chennai to bangalore uh, in, the, <coughs> in the in the cost of 1000 uh, rupees okay initially when i'm uh, going with one uh, one way of media same 1000 uh, rupees i took 8 hours when i'm uh, repeating same uh, journey uh, chennai to bangalore i got some input some of my friends i got the methodology i'm able to travel same 1000 rupees cost in the time of 5 hours next cycle it is got improved is called process approach fine uh, and simple you can understand this process approach but it is a efficient tool for us it very and highly efficient tool for us yeah next we we'll go with the iso standards now it is called i level structure it's called i level structure i level structure is in all the standard need to follow the same kind of structures 10 class structure, structure approach scope normative reference terms and definition it is a common to all kind of standards after that it is very context of the organization class number 4 class number 5 leadership class number 6 planning class number 7 support class number 8 operation class number 9 performance evaluation and class number 10 improvement these are the class number it should be common to all kind of standards getting released from september 2015 that for is integrated management system is working it's called i level structure approach all this i level structure approach is based on the risk based thinking let us make it as a word risk based thinking generally in our organization we have three kind of activities one is under process success it is possible to do by organization another is not able to perform it is a question of capacity need. in between we have lot of activities we may complete we not complete based on the competency this is called risk so all this risk we need to forecast with some sort of mitigation action simply i can say expect the unexpected problem with solution uh, nowadays all the people is having the concept before raising the issue please ensure solution for the particular issue and uh, make it in any of the platform that is a common thing we are talking with all kind of management same is called risk based thinking yeah um i'm getting a lot of messages okay um i request all you to put uh, iso in your chat box so i understand that the government people is getting followed my words uh, just you can type iso in the chat box please type iso there is getting lot of messages yeah yeah there are pretty good number of messages and we have 36 active participants so 35 participants uh, no, nothing to worry i am getting some good questions also yeah and pretty good I questions are coming up session Um, yep. Some of people asking the questions, Mr. Gaurav. Please also throw some light on ISO knowledge management system. Mr. Ladmul Gurman asking how ISO standard helps our business success. Definitely, I'm going to answer this question at uh, end of the session. Okay.
Okay, I'm tracking your questions also. Fine. That is short. Do you want to stop for questions and continue? No, no, no. Continue. Uh, uh, end of the okay. session, I can answer all these questions. As you please. Yes. Yeah. Fine. Now we are in uh, uh, stage of ISO standard compliance and certifications. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to highlight all you people. Is, ISO 9000 standard can utilize as business excellence tool also. If you don't want certificate, it's just you can keep away from an organization, you can follow the standard, it's your option. But we people nowadays uh, uh, feel that ISO certification is a very common and easy tool to get the credit and uh, maintaining it off. Obviously, it is uh, true also. Because a lot of uh, unaccredited certificate is in the market. So people feel that 9000 is not the big matter to now uh, implement or getting certifications. That the myth is going on now. Um, obviously, I, I need to accept uh, because uh, uh, some of the organizations selling the certificate. But as a efficient and good organization can use this ISO standard as a business excellence tool. They can go for compliance audit. They can review their own business strategy through these uh, internal audit as well as second party, third party audit. That is the way they can use this system. Okay, uh, one of your personal alumni is called how this uh, ISO standard business system helped me to make success in the business. I'm telling you, review of your business system, review of your uh, uh, consistency in profit is uh, most important in any of the organizations. I can give n number of organizations got failed because of the inefficiency in reviewing the system. I can give n number of examples. Fine. So this ISO 9000 is making you to find where you are in market, where you are in um, level of quality. That is when this ISO is helping you to make success within the business. Once a person is losing content with the customer because of uh, deficient quality, it's quite sufficient for them to go out from the industry in short span of period. To avoid this kind of uh, <clears throat> uncomfortable situation to organization, this ISO is again working. Simply I can say, ISO is a tool for making you to sustain in the market in long term. Fine. Coming to this, standard compliance and certification. Yeah. Uh, we need to understand four words. One is IIF. Okay. Another is accreditation body, certification body, and organizations. All this accreditation body in India it is called NABC. This accreditation body is country based. Each and every country has its own accreditations. Fine. In India it is NABC. In UK it is called UCOS. In Germany it is called DASH. In Japan it is called DASANS. Like this, each and every country having one accreditation body. Fine. One country, one accreditation body. Same time, one accreditation body can give certification to the entire world. Let us take UCOS in UK. They can give certification to India. It's possible. So that is called accreditation body. Fine. Another thing is, one minute. A certification body. Actually, certification body is a front end for this uh, certification process. Let us say SGS, 2UV should, 2UV not, BSI, DNB, Bureau Veritas. These are the people giving certification. They are called certification bodies. This certification body getting controlled by accreditation bodies. All this accreditation body getting controlled by IIF. We are the organization getting certificate. This is a fundamental. Fine. But we never get any of the certificate from ISO. ISO job is not giving the certificate. Certification body is job is to give the certificate. ISO will never give the certificate to any of the organization. Okay, we people having myth that all my certificate getting uh, given by uh, all ISO organization from Geneva. No, you are not getting any of the certificate from Geneva. All your certificate getting from this accreditation body and certification bodies. 
That is the reason you are allowed to use the logo saturation bodies. You can take your visiting card or website, you can see this kind of logos. Yes, I use a certificate company from SGS, from BNE, from BSI, TV should, some kind of certificate you are getting. Because you got a certificate only from certification, but not directly from ISO. ISO job is only for giving the standard. The point I'm trying to make to you people is, please choose the standard relevant to your industry. That is most important. I told you ISO is published 23,000 standards. Out of 23, we need to choose the relevant standard for. The standard you need to implement, you can go for a compliance audit, then you can make it as a business business excellence tool. But you, if you're considering ISO 9000 is a only certificate for my business, it is not adding any value to my business. It is certificate only got displayed in the <coughs> reception of my organization. I can say it is non-value certificate. So it is a job of organization to choose a certificate, make it to implement, make it commitment and review it in periodical manner. Fine. I can answer to one of the organization. I answered one of the organization. They felt, sir, we are spending money for certificate each and everything. We feel it is not requiring. We are losing the money. I said, if you want, if you don't want certificate, if your customer is not interested certificate, please throw it away. Absolute no issue in that. But you should have the ability for make internal audit in your own manner. Every six months, yes, we are committed for making the internal audit. We are reviewing our system. We are reviewing our business. We are reviewing our performance. Based on the performance review, we again we are developing and improving. Such a included system methodology is a need for your organization. Once it is getting implemented by your team, then definitely it is not requiring certifications. But the question here is, once you're going with the certification, you got bound to do all the internal audit system methodology, everything. That is the reason people having the certification process as a stakeholding device. Stakeholding device. Yes, I have certification audit in this year. So obviously I need to control my process. I need to go with the systematic approach. I need to conduct internal audit. I need to show some sort of content improvement. I need to make some objectives. I need to achieve that. All the system is going, coming from this ISO standard. That is the way people getting success with this kind of certificate. So this is the point I'm going to make it for Mr. Arul Mavi. Once organization is getting implemented this kind of approach, then they can use this tool as a successful or business oriented tool. Then is best manner approach in uh, initial certifications. Um, phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. Uh, this uh, phase one is a gap assessment, documentation planning. Phase two is a training of your entire team on the certification process. Uh, then implementing uh, documents and good industry practices. Phase three is conduct internal, internal audit. Phase four is a stage one and stage two audit. If you can see this. Three kind of audits we are making. First, first party audit, second party audit, and third party audit. Three kind of audit is available. First party audit. My production department auditing my HR department. My teaching department auditing my administration department. My administration department auditing top management activities. So it is an interlink audit between the organization called first party audit. It's some sort of system review. It is not a performance evaluation nor it is a it is not a police activities for the department department. It is process of ensuring the compliance level. How much uh, department uh, running the uh, organization as per the documented procedure. Second part is your customer audit. Some of your customer want to verify your capability for serving the requirement. Third part is a certification body audit. The certification body are the person who is evalu evaluating the audit. Let us take auditing system. Okay. Generally, all the companies having an auditor, okay, own audit system. Other than auditor, some of the companies having assessment of their financial management capacity. They are called third party auditors. Like this, management system also getting audited by the third party people, certification bodies, I can say. The certification body is having own audit methodology. It is happening in planning, execution, reporting, closer, along in the input of corporate goals site audit program. I can say whenever the auditor comes to the place, they will understand the organization need goals, everything. They will audit in department where they'll give the report where the department is not meeting the um, objective and the vision of the management. They'll give the report, it is getting corrected. Again, the routine, routine cycle is going to get happened. 
That's what third party audit is happening here. Fine. Coming to the certification cycle. Okay, let us go with this. Once you complete your internal audit program and continuous improvement program, you are allowed to go for a three year audit cycle. Okay, all this ISO certificate is valid for three years. Okay, you need to go for stage one and stage two audit. Stage one is for readiness review, stage two is a certification audit. Once you complete your stage two audit, you will be going for the ISO certification. It's common for all the certifications, ISO 9000, 14000, 45000, 27000, 22000, all things same approach. Once you got a certification, every year they'll come for the surveillance audit. Prem, uh, we don't see your PowerPoint presentation. We were seeing until uh, five minutes before, yeah. My God. No one is informed. Oh, people have been informing in the chat. <laughs> No. Let me check. I don't see. Uh, it's only we, we just see it gray. We don't see your screen. Can you try again? Unshare and share. Yeah. Is it, is it okay now? Uh, no, Prem, we don't see. It's okay, Prem. You can uh, like continue to talk. Uh, yeah. We're almost on the end. So yeah. maybe you can do some talking and then take some questions. Yeah, fine. I think I would have missed. Fine. So this certification process, uh, we are discussing certification process. I think now it's okay now. Yeah, good. It's perfect. Thank you. So then you will get a surveillance audit once in a year, once in six months. Once you're completing two rounds of surveillance audit, again, you are uh, need to go for the risk certification audit. That's the way your certificate is getting uh, renewed, like your license. Fine. This is a process. Um, <clears throat> Manash, are you seeing my screen now? Yeah, yeah. your screen is perfect. No, Good. No. You can continue, Prem. Please. Yeah. yeah. So, the effective business management system gives this kind of uh, direct impact on the business. It is helping you to more on effective management system rather than crisis management. Uh, up to 2015-16, ISO is a typical uh, documentation approach. All the people got irritated that when ISO, it is a process of documentation work. I have seen n number of companies when uh, getting the audit date. Previous day, they used to take all the uh, documents and photos and the writing and the book up and the next day morning they want to show to the auditor and they complete the audit they said that ISO is successfully completed no it is not the approach now now it is a risk based approach you are having own tries to make it as the effective management rather than crisis management other thing is it is more help on the manpower control uh, let us go with the proper organization chart with hierarchy we need to allocate roles and responsibility along with the proxy responsibility then it's a, a making business oriented approach with a regular review rather than sales oriented target. You can take any of the traders or small, uh, small and micro company. They say, sir, sales is the only criteria for my uh, company. When the person is looking this kind of ISO certification concept, uh, I'm not asking them to go for certification process. When they're looking for this sales, uh, sales oriented uh, target, definitely they will understand the business oriented approach with a regular review and they make get good approach or good development in the business. Another thing is it is more on problem solving method to prevent all the mistakes rather than mistake without a reoccurrence. You can see a number of companies having or making their life with a lot of mistakes. Instead of correcting and preventing, they are working more on mistakes. When you are working with a particular individual person or individual uh, department, people are not having the integrated system concept. When you are taking the company or uh, what is uh, desktop of the person, he is having n number of uh, record with password. So you only access the department, you only access the data. He is not interested to uh, share it to any of the people. It makes a lot of mistakes with others. 
uh, so many things getting uh, discussed with uh, n number of uh, wrong uh, data and they're taking the decision in wrong manner so this kind of things can be get solved in proper uh, iso standard so let us go with this um, information security management system solves everything fine next is audit is mandatory yeah so internal audit certification is uh, mandatory bound effective business it's a that's what we are discussed on this more another thing is vital point in this business management system please focus more on important activities than urgent activities now we can see the hr culture in uh, all, all the organization the person who is getting disturbed the person who is getting more followed with one person that work only will carried out you will not have any self self initiative or uh, planning to complete the work or job in uh, regular manner with with the focus of important activities that is a big issue that can that can that kind of culture can be get to remove or um, replace with this kind of certification process fine this are all the benefit you can get the business management system that is it is in euro countries and uh, us companies forcing us to go for the certification process they want to review our entire internal audit third party audit all the report they want to review before they making the business with the our asian companies because they are the person europe and us they are the person tested the business management system in the day to day life uh, i can't say that we are inferior we are also having good quality everything the way we are doing the business need to be get interlinked with this kind of business management system that's what all our journey is um, um, most important now we are working on that um, we are more improved uh, uh, between 5 to 6 years number of certifications got increased number of uh, cultural change was happened in uh, asian countries but still it is not sufficient still we need to go for this more journey on systematic approach we need to believe we need to accept that my performance is only based on the business management system then you can see the substantial improvement in your organization as well as business growth and career fine uh, this is my uh, uh, presentation this and posing prem we are getting some questions prem yeah yeah okay, i'll read it for you okay yes sir uh, there is a question from gaurav bapna 2010 yeah. batch triple e okay uh, is erp a management system itself or a tool of implementing the same it would be nice if you can elaborate clearly on this ma- management system definition i think he is more keen on knowing uh, erp management yeah uh, mr gaurav erp is a wonderful tool for implementing business management system in uh, organization okay uh, but the place we are lacking in erp software is uh, it is not properly uh, customized for the organization Uh, that is a big thing uh, i can uh, across in my career um, so first we need to make our own vision mission policy uh, customer requirement everything need to get uh, uh, make plan based on the plan we need to make it as a erp once it is happening as uh, in uh, happening in the organization your erp will be very effective now what is what's happening is uh, based on the uh, uh, ERP people presentation and ERP concept, or just management trying to implement the ERP system rather than implementing their vision and mission. Simply, they want to go with the ERP software. I can give one more example. In ERP system implementation, people more keen on developing the database, everything. When they are creating the reports, they are not giving. They are not very clear in the requirement. Then it is going in different direction. People are not. Act- not able to implement in a very effective manner so make your erp planning uh, depends upon the organization need and customer requirement you can feel it is a very effective one that's what is management system is working uh, even i can say uh, nowadays i'm seeing the erp based on the iso requirements that also more effective uh, nowadays people are working on this go ahead am i answer the question he also wants to know about knowledge management standard and he says yes he have answered his question maybe you can share some more thoughts on knowledge management uh, actually um, so far no specific standard available for management standard okay but whenever you going for business management any kind of standard 
it's highly interlinked with your knowledge management it's a part yeah it's fantastic prem so that is all we have as questions maybe you can do some more round of conclusion talks and then yeah no other questions fine i think arumuri uh, i have answered this question Ah, uh, there's one lull, a quick question coming up. Can you please explain the ISO standard procedures? Uh, maybe this is a very big question. Maybe you can answer it in short. Darani Kumar uh, wants to know. Yes, yeah. Um, the ISO standard procedures. Uh, when you are reading the standard, uh, they made the word documented procedures, child requirement. This kind of key word is available in each and every standard. Okay. And when you see seeing the preface of the standard. that uh, giving clear cut note of these uh, procedures and documentation requirement based on that we need to make the entire documentations but cannot get any template or uh, methodology for making the procedure is from any of the standard because that is our own platform you can go with any of the things but all your procedure need to meet the minimum requirement of the standard that is most important still i can give you one example let us go with document control procedure okay when the document control procedure or document information procedure document name is mandatory document identification retrieval then uh, <clears throat> it's the replacement is mandatory to get addressed in the procedure it have to be get followed yeah i think karnik uh, kumar has answered He, yeah it was pretty detailed prem yes it has concluded the session yeah so people are sharing their feedbacks also they are very happy on this uh, session and they have taken back a lot of lessons thank you so okay. much thank you prem even uh, i totally enjoyed uh, as a group we all enjoyed this okay your energy was exuberant <laughs> okay when you spoke about iso and standards we re we really saw a lot of energy and enthusiasm and we we were able to see how much of uh, how, how much of your heart you put on this great that's wonderful thanks for your time and thanks for the session